Hi, I'm Alex Paul, Editor-in-Chief of Electronic Component News. I recently uh, came across a nice piece of history, an old 1935 Weston Selective Analyzer. Uh, these were made through the 30s, but this specific model is a 1935. You can tell because it says so right on the faceplate. As you can see, it measures ohms, volts, milliamps, and microfarads, but it does caution here, DC only. It has a very nice solid feel to the controls. Of course, back then this stuff was all heavy copper contacts and big chunky Bakelite plastic. The entire faceplate, in fact, is made of Bakelite. The uh, case itself is made out of pressed steel. If we open it up, you'll see that it is beautifully worked on the inside. The resistors are all spools, although you can tell here that it was repaired once in the past. There's an old uh, resistor attached, I guess new from the standards of the device, but old from our point of view, I would say by the look of this resistor, it was repaired sometime in the 50s. The other thing, though, to notice is the beautiful hand looming on the wire harness. Uh, it still has the old battery components for uh, compartments for batteries that probably are no longer made in any form. Uh, if you look in as well, you'll see there were some other components that were tacked in downstream to uh, perform field repairs on the device over the years. And uh, in general, just a nice piece of work. So a uh, little blast from the past, a device that shows uh, where we came from and how advanced we pretty we had pretty good handle on technology back even in the 30s. Of course, uh, this entire circuitry could fit on a subsection of a system on chip, but uh, did the job back then. Thanks a lot.